In May 2017, I received an email with the subject line, your adventure begins here. Now, ordinarily, I probably wouldn't have opened an email like that, but this just felt different. Dearest Ross, it said, greetings from beautiful Bhutan. Long story short, the email was from a chap called Karma, who was inviting me to be the bagpipes in his home country of Bhutan. A year later, after many an email and a meeting in London, we were landing in Bhutan's Paro International Airport, where only a handful of pilots are qualified to land. We're officially in the kingdom of Bhutan. This is Paldin. He's going to be our guide for the next... <laughs> you with us for the next seven days? Yes. Amazing. <laughs> Bhutan is a country full of surprises. It's a place where chilies aren't just a seasoning, but the main ingredient, where men wear a national dress that wouldn't look out of place in Scotland, and where the largest export is renewable energy. Bhutan isn't just carbon neutral, it's carbon negative, and it takes conservation very, very seriously. In its constitution, it even mandates that a minimum of 60% of the country must be covered in forest at all times. It's hard not to have a massive grin on my face when I speak about Bhutan, which is quite cheesy, I know, but fitting considering that gross national happiness is a philosophy used to guide the country's government. There are so many highlights to Bhutan, from whitewater rafting, hikes and homestays, to the giant Buddha Dordenma statue and the infamous Paro Taksan, also known as Tiger's Nest Monastery. From a piper's perspective, there aren't too many bagpipes in the last Buddhist kingdom on earth. But it turns out they're quite popular, even with some of the members of the royal family, whose names I won't mention, but I will say we're massive fans of Outlander. We have just spent our morning getting ourselves looking good and making ourselves look Bhutan royalty presentable, because we have an audience with, okay, not all the royal family, but just some of the princesses, which is super exciting. We've arrived in the palace. Unfortunately, no cameras, no video uh, equipment allowed, so I have to leave you guys here. One of the most important aspects of my travels is being able to perform in schools and it was thanks to Karma and this lot here that I was able to play in my first and only Bhutanese school. Although Dzongka is the national language of Bhutan, English is the primary language of instruction used in most Bhutanese schools, which is great when you're explaining things like sporins, bagpipes and tartan. Over the years, Bhutan has been developing its tourism industry carefully and cautiously. This delicate approach to tourism has led to a system where most tourists have to pay a minimum tariff of 200 to 250 US dollars per day, depending on the season. Now that might sound super expensive, but that includes all meals, accommodation, transport, entry tickets, and even a guide for the entire trip. It also includes a sustainable development fee which goes towards various initiatives like keeping education and healthcare free. This does have an impact on tourist numbers, but it seems to have allowed Bhutan to preserve its cultural heritage, environment and, importantly, adapt its infrastructure for a growing tourism industry. It's hard not to love a country where the national dress looks slightly kilt-like. Men in Bhutan wear something called a go, which is a knee-length garment with the world's largest pocket. Women wear something called a kira, which is an ankle-length dress paired with a jacket and an undergarment. So on top of all the other awesome things that Bhutan does, it's one of the only countries in the world where you can put your own face on their national stamps. How cool is that? Or in my case, a picture of myself playing the bagpipes. How wicked. And lastly, why is it the land of the Thunder Dragon? Well, long story short, the traditional name for Bhutan in Zonka is Druk Yul. Druk meaning Thunder Dragon, Yul meaning Land of. Switch those around and you get Land of the Thunder Dragon. And the Thunder Dragon is a mythical beast in Bhutanese folklore. <laughs>